Empire won't push into our territory again anytime soon. Thanks to our new pilot. Yeah, and thanks to the rest of us. This isn't a race, all right? We're a team. You're right, Gunny. But still, nice flying out there. Speaking of fancy flying, I was thinking about the Dragon Void run from a few years back. You see that one, Keo? Oh, sure. I caught the whole thing on the hollow net. Yeah, me too. I watched the entire thing, but for the life of me, I can't recall who won. I think it was one of the Ash Twins. No, wait. Delon Vu. Yeah, that's it. Boy, he was something else back then. In fact, the only pilot I've seen that comes close since is Keo here. Oh, come on. Delon Vuk's got nine championships under his belt. I've only got five. Well, fun as this is, Commander Javes has someone special waiting for us in the briefing room. Let's get in there and find out what's next. Commander's waiting. Where is it now? I helped Talus Group chase it away from a medical convoy towards Yavin. It's pinned in the upper atmosphere with no hyperdrive, but too many fighters for Talus Group to handle alone. This might work out for both of us. Come, meet our visitor. Wedge Antilles, Rogue Squadron. I hear you're the reason I was able to finally get a calm through. I have a Star Destroyer problem that Vanguard might be able to help me solve. We need a Star Destroyer for Project Starhawk, intact. Now we prove what Vanguard's made of. Which, if you would. As you may have overheard, Talos Group has cornered the Imperial Star Destroyer Victorum, above the planet Yavin. They're in tough, but it's presented a great opportunity for us to jump in and not only disable that Star Destroyer, but to seize control. So first, we need to give ourselves some cover by knocking out the turrets. Naturally, if we can also take out the targeting system, that'll buy us even more time. Next, we need to prepare the Star Destroyer for boarding. We'll need to find a potential breach point in the Victorum's hull, preferably near the bridge. Once you find a good spot, bombard it until the hull is breached. However, we can expect that the Victorum still has plenty of TIE fighters. They will try to stop us. Once the skies are clear, we can bring in the boarding team. While our troops capture the bridge, Vanguard will defend the exterior from reinforcements. Once the boarding team has seized the bridge and is in control of the Star Destroyer, we will rendezvous with the Temperance. Okay, I think I accidentally made stealing a Star Destroyer sound simple. Let's hope it is. A Star Destroyer? Aren't you tossing him in the deep end a little early, Linden? Vanguard can handle it, can't you? Besides, Project Starhawk needs that Star Destroyer for... Well, you know. Wedge made a name for himself at the Battle of Yavin. He knows that system better than the Empire ever will. You'll be fighting on the Rebellion's old turf. So if Wedge has any advice, you'd be smart to listen. You know, a wounded Krakana can still bite. Just watch yourself around that Star Destroyer, huh? Get out there as soon as you can. Sorry for the speedy introduction, but Talus Group was counting on me to get reinforcements fast. Your commander says you have talent. Enough to steal a Star Destroyer and get away with it. Normally, I'd have Rogue Squadron for this, but General Sindula gave me a temporary assignment to Project Starhawk. Meanwhile, Rogue is handling, well, that's classified too. General Sindula keeps us busy. Your commander and I have something in common. I once flew for the Empire too, at Skystrike Academy. Turning to the Rebellion was the smartest move I ever made. I wish more of my friends had done the same. Look, I appreciate the talk, but uh, Talus Group's waiting for us.
So, we're headed to Yavin. An exalted company, it seems. And now we know Project Starhawk needs an Imperial Star Destroyer. That's enough firepower to tackle a small fleet, or a means to catch the Empire off guard. But that wouldn't warrant all this secrecy. There must be more to the Commander's plan. We'll just have to trust him. Too bad there isn't an easier way to get what we need. Even a damaged Star Destroyer has deck upon deck of Durasteel plating, turrets, shields. <sighs> My poor bigoted father called Star Destroyers the fists of the Empire. He wasn't wrong. But they can be beaten. If you're good and lucky. Let's stay optimistic. To Yavin, then. Let's not delay. The commander wants you on an X-Wing for this mission. Got you outfitted with ion missiles. They disable enemy fighters, and they'll disable subsystems on enemy capital ships, too. Let's head for the Victorum. 
Focus your shields before they open fire on us. Targeting system. Let's do it. Putting power to forward shields. All that damage, and this thing still has teeth. No wonder Talascript took a beating just chasing it here. I wanted to see the Victorum go up in flames, but stealing it. <laughs> I like that even better. systems. Scan for a breach point, so we can send an aborting team. You're up, Five. Breaching a Star Destroyer, just like the old days. Look out, Vanguard! We got a gunny story incoming! Five hasn't heard it. Sure. <laughs> just tell me when I can turn my comms back on. If your comms are off, how can we tell? Let's keep looking. Imperial fighters incoming. Still in the fight! No good. Locked. 
We've got an Imperial carrier. They're launching reinforcements. They're not giving up the Victoria without a fight. Vanguard, take down that cruiser. Wedge, out. 